Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I'm here with another Funny Friday using some Art Impression stamps. The stamp set I'm using for this is the Mushroom Cubbies and it has little opening doors and lots of fun little critters that you can add into those windows and doors. It also has an adorable gnome off to the side. Also with this stamp set comes a matching die set and I'm just going to separate some of these dies out so that I can cut all my critters and my mushroom house all together. I'll be starting out with the Mushroom Cubby, and I'm using 110 pound cardstock, and I'm securing this. So I've run this through my die cut machine, and now I have my cubby piece. And I'm going to do something a little bit different to stamp my image. So I'm going to reserve the outside piece, and then I'll place it into my Misty on top of my stamp and stencil mat. Now I can place my stamp image right into that opening of that die cut piece. And this will give me a really nice impression since these dies sit really close to the image. So once I have the stamp on my door, I can replace my die cut piece right into the center of that frame and the stamp and stencil mat will hold that in place while I do the stamping. Since I'll be doing some Copic marker coloring, I'm using the Simons' Stamp Intense Black Ink for the outline of the image. And now I can rub on the top of the image to get my impression and I can check it by opening the door. If I needed to re-ink and stamp again, everything is sitting in place so that's really easy to achieve. Next I'll just peel away my stamped and die cut piece from the stamp and stencil mat. Next I've die cut all the little critters and I didn't separate those dies so I could cut it all in one piece. And then I've placed my stamps on top and now I have all my little critters stamped and die cut in a really short amount of time. Now it's time to do some coloring and I won't go into detail on all the coloring but I thought you might want to see how I have done the wood look onto the trunk or base area of the mushroom. I do have a list of all the Copic markers that I used to complete this in the description box below if you want to check that out. Now that I have everything colored, I did use some nice muted colors with that soft teal blue for the mushroom top and then some purples and light yellows for those flowers. I also colored my little gnome with coordinating colors along with some of those insects. And next I want to add a little bit of stenciling to a piece of Desert Storm cardstock. So I have the Simon's Stamp Confetti Stencil and I'll be using the Positively Saturated Cappuccino ink with a blending brush and I'm just going to lightly tap into that ink and then I can brush it over the top of the stencil and I'll be concentrating on an area that's going to sit just outside of that mushroom cubby house. And next I'll be repositioning the stencil onto that stencil mat and I'll be going over this with some Tide Pool ink knowing that with a little bit of brown in the background from that Desert Storm cardstock it'll give me a nice muted blue. With my background stenciled and my little pieces colored, it's time to start doing some assembly. So I'm using some Simon's Stamp Craft Tacky Glue and using it onto the back of this little dragonfly. And I'll tuck it into the window and have part of its wings and tail sticking out of that little door. And using the glue again, I'm adding this to the back of the little snail. And I'll tuck this guy in and then have his head and part of his shell peeking out from the other window. For the last window cubby, I am going to be opening that little door and tucking in a small butterfly so that it's peeking out from behind. I'll be lifting the mushroom cubby house up from the background of the card and I'm just peeling off some of the adhesive backing and positioning it onto my panel. And now that the cubby house is adhered onto my card, I can add the last little critter by gluing it onto my stenciled background so that it can pick out from the front door. I've added a few foam squares to the back of my gnome. I do want him to sit up to be the same height as the mushroom house, and so I'll sit him right next to it. And for the last critter, it's a little butterfly, and I'll be adding this onto one of the flowers on top of that mushroom house. For my greeting, I'm using one of the Simon's Stamp sentiment strips, and this says, You are not alone. And I thought this was the funny part, that this little Nomi has so much going on in his mushroom cubby house that he is definitely not alone. So I'll just be centering that on the bottom portion, right under the mushroom house and gnome. 
Now I've colored everything in nice muted colors and you could definitely switch this up to be more bright and cheery, but I really love these tones of colors. I do have everything listed in the description box below, so if you want to check that out, and also a link to our blog post for more information. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.